LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. Power into telemetry nominal. We're just under a minute into flight. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payloads into orbit. In just a few seconds here, we should be vehicle is supersonic. hitting max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle is now experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's the call up for max Q. In about a minute, we have three events happening back to back. First up is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO. The second event is stage separation. This is where the first and second stage will separate from one another. The third event, second engine start one, also known as SES-1. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And we had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and you can see on the right hand side of your screen the engine on the second Both stage has successfully started up. Trajectories. Now we're expecting fairing deploy here in a couple of seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And off come the fairing halves. That call out and the visual confirmation on your screen means that we've had successful fairing deploy. And on screen is a view of the Merlin vacuum Both vehicles engine. continue to follow nominal trajectories. The Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage glowing red hot. Uh, as the second stage heads towards its drop off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first. Position of signal, Bermuda. The first is an entry burn where three of the Merlin engines will reignite and this will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. Seco. Expect the loss of signal, Cape Canaveral. And we did see the second stage engine. Nominal parking orbit insertion. Shut off, and there is the confirmation we were looking for. The Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and they can achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. Stage one FTS is safe. And there is the first stage on the left hand side of your screen. Stage one entry burn startup. And we have successful stage one entry burn start. This burn's gonna last for about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And 
stage one entry burn has completed. Uh, during that entry burn, you might have noticed that both vehicles uh, continue to follow nominal trajectories. Four hypersonic grid fins have deployed near the top of the first stage. Uh, the stage one uses nothing but these grid fins for steering as it makes its return back to Earth. They orient the rocket during re-entry and guide the rocket during descent. During the entry burn, the first stage landing lights will deploy. Uh, we have four of them on Falcon 9 first stage and they're made up of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. They're placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and will deploy just prior to landing on our drone ship today. Stage one, landing burn startup. There's a view of our drone ship as Falcon 9 approaches. Stage one, landing confirm. Uh, we didn't stage quite get the video, but we guidance. did get confirmation that we did indeed land the first stage. Uh, now the second stage is going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. We'll see you back here around the T plus 44 minute mark for second engine start number two. Acquisition signal, Newfoundland. Welcome back to the live webcast of SpaceX's 23rd Starlink mission. Our second stage is still looking good. You're getting ready for second engine start number two in just a few seconds. It will be a very short one second burn of our MVAC engine. We have another coast phase before we deploy our next batch of Starlink satellites into orbit. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and three minutes. Welcome back once again to SpaceX's ninth mission of 2021. Coming up on deployment of our stack of Starlink satellites that you can see on screen. Uh, let's listen to the callouts for payload deploy. It should be happening any second now. Starlink deploy confirmed. Shortly, they will deploy their solar arrays, and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you for joining us and have a great rest of your day.